practice relentlessly, toil tirelessly, all for the ultimate goal, victory and success in their chosen sport. But in the blink of an eye, everything can change. Student athletes at Oregon State University come from all walks of life to continue their athletic careers at the collegiate level while attaining a degree. While everyone's road to Corvallis is unique, every student athlete shares an ever-existing risk of injury while competing for their respective teams. I'm Sarah Allman, I'm a junior at Oregon State. I'm an NMC major and I played volleyball and track my first two years here and now I'm just doing track. My name is Zach Robinson. Um, I played safety here at Oregon State um, in class of 2016. Uh, my professor major is uh, human development and family sciences. I'm Samantha Signer, a junior forward on the women's basketball team majoring in new media communications. My name is Sean Steiner. I'm a physical therapist at Samaritan Athletic Medicine Center at the Oregon State University campus. So typically, if somebody comes uh, to Samaritan Athletic Medicine Center, they often have a referral from a physician. So they've usually seen a sports medicine physician or their primary care physician. And they go through an initial evaluation where we find their deficits or the reasons why they have pain and then make goals for them for rehabilitation with their goals in mind uh, to get them back to a sport or to the recreational activity and um, trying to reduce some of their pain and, and some of their deficits. With the thousands of hours that athletes spend honing their skills during practices, it is only a matter of time before setback occurs. Samantha's ankle injury is an example of such an occurrence. And getting in on the action is Samantha Signer. We were going over plays. I think we were working on sideline out of bounds previously and then we moved to baseline out of bounds, uh, which is where it all started. The first thing that hit, hit my mind, you know, when I came down was like, yeah, oh crap, like I know it's bad. Um, you could feel that it was worse than just a normal ankle sprain because those happen, you know, daily to a lot of people just within the flow of the game. I just drug, drug myself off the court and tried to like get up and walk and I was like able to get up but really hurt to walk. So before practice I come in and we do what's called soft tissue oscillation and so what it does is they hook up some electrodes to your ankle and it pushes up like the, the blood flow and um, moves the swelling up out of the ankle so they're able to better um, treat it that way and then you'd ice it and afterwards we'd ice again. Uh, and then after the first day or two we started doing mobility exercises just to get it back um, you know, trying to build up those muscles as quickly as possible again. Because the ligaments are stretched, we have to make sure that they're really strong around that joint. And again, somebody that um, is a high performance athlete, um, whether it's a football player or a basketball player, they take a lot of load, they have a lot of impact. Um, so we want to make sure that that joint is really stable when they're, uh, they're trying to absorb that load. Adverse weather conditions can increase the risk of injury that student athletes competing outdoors take. Sarah, while competing in the high jump, found herself the victim of unfortunate circumstances. I heard it um, my freshman year at NCAA Regionals um, for track. There was a flood on the track and I basically hyperextended my knee and dislocated my kneecap. And um, we rehabbed that, but then it kind of led to what's called IT band friction syndrome. And I kept running on it because I thought it was fine and going to heal. And then um, it ended up scarring and thickening the bottom of my IT band where it connects to your fibula. And so basically it just grinds and rubs on my fibula head and the bursa sac. I actually took my first full jumps in 10 months yesterday. So when somebody comes in with um, a dislocated patella, the first goal is to decrease any pain or inflammation and then improve their range of motion and then eventually try to get their um, muscles around their knee strengthened. Collegiate football has garnered significant notoriety due to the high prevalence of head injuries. Zach's career playing football at Oregon State was cut short in a tragic and all too common experience. My head on impact one was my very first year. Uh, we played at Oregon 
it was second quarter, I was running down on kickoff, and uh, I had the lead side blocker, so their lead blocker, and then there was a the ball, and then I just went straight through him. And whenever I went straight through him, it was just right here, and we both hit, knocked him out, knocked myself out in the process, and that was a really bad one, because uh, I kind of I stood up, fell back down, and actually crawled to the sideline. And then I went up to my trainer and told her my head hurt, and I passed out on her. And um, so I was out completely the entire time. So it was about a good hour and a half went by before I actually regained consciousness and was like aware of where I was. I suffered acute amnesia. I didn't, I didn't know who my parents were. Uh, I didn't know if I had a girlfriend. I didn't know where I was. Uh, it took probably about another good hour to actually remember everything. Typically, um when the brain or when the head is hit, head or neck is impacted, the brain will hit one side of the skull and then the other. So it sort of sloshes, so to speak, within the, the skull structure. And typically, you know, it, it, it could be in any spot on the brain that's affected. Um, and so in an acute amnesia, um, the frontal lobe that's affected primarily and so um, you know there's probably swelling in there and that's what is impacting um, impacting the patient. The medical professionals involved with the rehabilitation process are with them every dribble jump and tackle along the way. Despite the constant threat to their bodies these student athletes echo the sentiments so many others like them carry. It is worth it.